Hey guys, this is Josie and I'm here with another of my original poems that I might be using in upcoming poetry stamps. So if you want to leave me any comments, any feedback, I'd be very happy about that. I hope you like it. This is my poem, unedited. Sunsets are beautiful. I think we can all agree on that, right? The pretty colors, the transition from day to night, the shadows to mysteries. Flowers are beautiful too, with their little petals and their vibrant smells. And baby animals are beautiful. And the sky and clouds and sun rays on a rainy day. Old books are beautiful. And new books. And rainbows, bonfires, city lights, monuments, music, beaches and forests. Forests are beautiful. Especially when the light shines through the treetops and drenches the world in magic. Silence is beautiful. And so are noisy crowds. Your favorite actor is beautiful. And your best friend. And the guy you have a crush on. And your baby niece and your mommy and your daddy, they're all beautiful and you'd never make a secret of it. Like wind and water and mountains and valleys and amazing buildings. But where in this list? comes the essential part. Where in this list are you? We can happily admit that other living things are beautiful and things that only live in our minds and memories and even things that don't live at all. But how often do we think it about ourselves? Be honest, when is the last time you told yourself I'm sexy and I know it? And I'm not referring to the time you might have said it, commenting on the amazing dress you were wearing or the awesome suit that is a total babe magnet. I'm talking about you. In your rawest form. Uncensored. Unedited. When is the last time you felt like you truly loved yourself? Could you say it right now? And mean it? It's hard, isn't it? But why? Right. Because from an early age, you are taught differently. Not just by your parents, they probably did a good job in raising and loving you. Although they too might be stuck in this never-ending circle of rules that don't make any sense and they are everywhere. In your surroundings, in school, at work, in the media. You are taught that it does not make you popular to appear too confident or proud of yourself. You are taught that these things are for boys and these for girls. You are taught not to wear something because it does not fit your body type or it doesn't complement your figure or it's not your color. And before you know it, this is how your own thoughts are constructed an assembly of don'ts, simply because somebody else might not like it. But what, I ask you, what has how you dress, how you wear your hair, how much you weigh, to do with the stranger that passes you on the street, or your colleagues and teachers, or even your parents? As long as you're not hurting anyone, or breaking any rules and laws, And where's the problem? Why has it become perfectly acceptable in our society to be insecure, to doubt and question ourselves? To say things like, I really need to work out. I really need to lose weight. I don't look good in this. And first of all, get agreement in return. But as soon as somebody says, I like myself. I'm okay the way I am. I'm beautiful. It makes them conceited, self-loving and arrogant. The real problem here is one of control because insecure people are easier to manipulate. People hating their bodies and themselves will do and buy anything that makes them think they're prettier. But there's no makeup for your soul. 
and there's no beauty searching for it either. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that any of those, let me call them superficial things, are inherently bad. I like pretty dresses. I like picking outfits that match. I'm wearing some makeup right now. But I refuse to be a slave to it any longer. Because it felt like I was for a while. It got to a point where I didn't leave my house without makeup. For days. Weeks. Probably months. And when I did, I felt so ashamed of myself. It's so bad that I tried to hide my face from the world for the rest of the day. And when I finally realized what I was doing, when I decided to be brave and face the world unedited, the general response I got was, are you tired? And are you sick? Yet when I picked a pretty dress for no occasion in particular, I was asked who I was dressing up for. But the only person I'm dressing up for is me. And the only sick I am is sick of this beauty standard we are creating for ourselves and for others. It's arbitrary. It's ridiculous. It's destructive. Why, as a whole, is our top New Year's resolution to lose weight? Why isn't it to accept the body we have, to be healthy, to be happy, to be a better person? But a change can happen. A change can start in every one of us. Learning to love yourself and enjoy your life is neither stupid nor self-obsessed. It is revolutionary. So be a leader. Get up in the morning and greet yourself with good morning gorgeous. Face the world with a smile. Eat your favorite breakfast. And later, if you feel like it, eat a second breakfast just because. Sing along to your favorite song when it comes on the radio, even if you sing out of tune. Dance in the middle of the street, skip when you're walking. Wear your favorite pair of jeans and a nice shirt. Or chill on some comfy pants and a hoodie. Or wear a ball gown, even if you're home alone. Wear what makes you feel good. And know that you're beautiful in all of it. When you pass shop windows, wink at your reflection because you are the prettiest pup around. Be confident. Be yourself. Be unedited. And go to bed in the evening knowing you did the best you could to have a happy life. Thank you.